comets remain a legitimate threat. These icy bodies, which come from the outer solar system, can travel three times faster than asteroids, so it only takes nine months for them to get from the orbit of Jupiter to the orbit of Earth. You couldn't plan years ahead for an impact from most comets. You'd hear about it maybe a few weeks ahead, maybe months at the most. Fortunately, Jupiter acts as a planetary shield. It deflects or absorbs comets that drift towards Earth. And scientists now have the pictures to prove it. On July 22, 1994, telescopes around the world caught a glimpse of one of the most violent comet impacts in the history of humanity. A string of about 20 comet fragments named Shoemaker-Levy 9 crashed into the upper cloud decks of Jupiter at speeds 100 times faster than a speeding bullet. Since gaseous Jupiter doesn't have a solid surface, the objects were slowed down by its thick atmosphere and exploded as air bursts, which created plumes that were visible from Earth. At Sandia National Laboratories in Albuquerque, New Mexico, physicist Mark Boslow and his colleagues had predetermined that this cosmic spectacle would be seen from Earth through computer simulations. People really did not expect this to be observable, partly because the location of the impacts were actually over the horizon, over the limb of Jupiter, as viewed from the Earth. We simulated the interaction of the fragments with Jupiter's atmosphere at high velocity, and the giant plume that was ejected out into space and could be seen rising over Jupiter's horizon as viewed from the Earth and from the Hubble Space Telescope. Armed with new knowledge about airburst impacts, Boslow began reinvestigating a similar event that happened on our planet. On June 30th, 1908, the biggest cosmic disaster in recorded human history on Earth occurred in Russia. A large object exploded in Siberia's remote Tunguska wilderness. The blast ignited heat and shock waves, which toppled 80 million trees over an 800 square mile area. Yet no one was directly killed because few people lived in the area. The Tunguska disaster had baffled scientists for almost a century because no impact crater or meteorite has been found and many of the trees in the area were flattened but not incinerated. Many scientists finally came to the conclusion that a space rock exploded as an airburst when it hit our atmosphere. So this was an atmospheric explosion it was really the only one we knew about, which made it seem unusual, very much like the Jupiter impact, and that in fact these are probably more common than we had really thought. The asteroid was originally calculated to be 200 feet in diameter and released 10 to 15 megatons of energy based on the devastation in the area. But Boslow now thinks the size was much smaller. When I did the simulation with a 15 megaton impactor, the fireball, the very hot gas that emerged from the explosion, descended all the way to the surface. That would have incinerated all the trees and created this zone of complete devastation that was not observed at Tunguska. The trees were not incinerated. Therefore, the mass would have had to have been less than, than people had previously thought. Boslow designed new simulations to show that the momentum effect of the air blast, not the size of the rock, caused the devastation. I modeled this as, a, uh, as an object coming in at a 35 degree angle and I exploded it when it descended below about seven or eight miles above the surface. It comes in, explodes, but the jet of hot material continues to descend. So what you see is the momentum effect after the explosion. The momentum is the velocity that continues to carry the mass downward before it finally slows down and stops. Boslow's new simulations also account for the fact that the terrain was not flat, so the winds from the blast were amplified by the ridge lines. 
but the gust is stronger on the top of the ridge and, and just beyond the top of the ridge, that's where you would tend to have the most trees and the most damage. Boslow's new research may mean that finding smaller asteroids is more important than previously thought. One of the conclusions that results from this work is that smaller asteroids can create significant damage at the surface. 